Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Tuesday, the 15th of August. Manipur violence to Indian economy. PM Modi addresses nation on 77th Independence Day. Afghan streaming of US refuge feels stuck in processing limbo. And dengue death toll exceeds 400 in Bangladesh. And now for all the details. India on Tuesday celebrated its 77th Independence Day, marking the end of British rule in the year 1947. Prime Minister Narendra Modi unfurled the tricolour and addressed the nation from the ramparts of the Red Fort. He listed the social, economic and pro-poor policies implemented during his nine years of rule and said his commitment to growth and making India an economic powerhouse would be sustained after securing a third term. He said India is at a decisive turning point and has the strength to shape the new world order. The Prime Minister also spoke on the Manipur issue and said peace was returning to the strife-torn northeastern state. देश मणिपुर के लोगों के साथ है, देश मणिपुर के लोगों को पिछले कुछ दिनों से जो शांति बनाए रखी है, उस शांति के पर्व को आगे बढ़ाए और शांति से ही समाधान का रास्ता निकलेगा। 2047 में जब देश आजादी के 100 साल मनाएगा, उस समय दुनिया में भारत का तिरंगा झंडा, विकसित भारत का तिरंगा झंडा होना चाहिए। Meanwhile, jubilant celebrations were also witnessed across the country as people celebrated the day by taking part in rallies and cultural events. The troops on the Pakistan and Bangladesh border also exchanged sweets with their Indian counterparts on the occasion as part of a tradition to promote goodwill and peaceful relations. India won its independence from the British in 1947 but was divided into two separate nations, India and Pakistan, after a tragic partition. Moving on, rescuers on Tuesday searched for signs of life after landslides triggered by heavy rains struck India's Himachal Pradesh the day before, killing at least 55 people. The death toll from the landslides was expected to rise with over 20 people feared missing as rescuers dug through debris after a temple collapsed in state capital Shimla, resulting in the death of at least nine people. Relatives and friends were praying for a miracle as rescue operations continued. हमारे भी यहाँ दो कुलीग हैं उनकी फैमिलीज तो दो बॉडीज तो निकालनी है हमारे अभी भी आस है हमें कि भगवान चमत्कार करेगा और हमारे कुलीग जो है प्रोफेसर पीएल शर्मा और उनकी वाइफ बेटा ठीक से निकल जाएंगे सुरक्षित होंगे हम ये उम्मीद करते हैं अभी भी हमें होप है भगवान पे भरोसा है Heavy rains and landslides in Himachal Pradesh had earlier damaged farms, destroyed roads and infrastructure worth $550 million in the state and killed more than 80 since the beginning of the monsoon. Well, a day after a convoy of Chinese nationals came under attack in Balochistan province, China condemned the attack, terming it an attempt to sabotage the friendship between Pakistan and China. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin said China has asked Islamabad to bring the perpetrators to justice and take actions to keep Chinese nationals safe. He said Beijing will continue to work with Pakistan to jointly guard against the threat against their interest and any attempts to sabotage the partnership will not succeed. In recent years, Chinese projects have become targets of BLA and other guerrilla fighting groups active in region as they accuse Pakistan along with China has exploited the province's natural resources under the garb of CPEC, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor Project. And moving on, residents of Muzaffarabad in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir are upset over the dilapidated drainage system which has led to sewage water accumulating onto roads in parts of the city. A report. Lack of a proper drainage system in Muzaffarabad, the capital of Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, has made life difficult for residents as sewage water has accumulated in many localities. 
pedestrians cannot cross roads without stepping in the dirty water. The unhygienic condition is also providing mosquitoes and diseases a breeding ground. Despite raising the issue with the authorities, no action has been taken so far. तो ये मैं कहूँगा कि दारों की मिस मैनेजमेंट है, उनकी प्लानिंग की जो है ना होने के बराबर है, जिस वजह से हमें हाई रोड ऐसे मामला देखने में आते हैं। अब आप यहाँ ताजरों का हाल देखें, कि ताजरों की दुकानों के आगे इतना गंद पड़ा हुआ है, कि ये जब पानी भर गया था, तो दुकानों के अंदर पानी चला गया था। आप बताएं कि गरीब ताजर पहले माजी तौर पे वो बेबस हो चुका है, अब जब ऐसे हालात होंगे, वो किसने अपना कारोबार कर सकेगा? Locals said they are fed up with the Pakistan government and stooge authorities in the region, which are only there to fill their treasuries through heavy taxes while they continue to suffer for even basic amenities. And in cramped living conditions in Pakistan, an Afghan family of 12 are waiting, like thousands of others, for news of their refugee applications to go to the United States. A report. Crowded into a small rented room in Pakistan's Islamabad, an Afghan family of 12 is waiting, like thousands of others, for progress on their applications to go to the U.S. as refugees. The family have applied for resettlement in the U.S. under a special program for Afghans who worked for U.S. organizations known as P2. For thousands of Afghans applying for refugee status and visas in the West, neighboring Pakistan was their only option. They, however, say that they fear being detained by Pakistani authorities, as many Afghans have anecdotally reported, so they stay indoors as much as they can. <laughs> In the chaotic withdrawal of U.S.-led foreign troops as Taliban forces seized Kabul in 2021, Western countries like the United States and Britain vowed to help, especially those Afghans who had worked for them or on projects they backed. But many have been left disappointed. Meanwhile, ruckus continued in Nepal's House of Representatives on Monday as the government and the opposition clashed over the investigation of the gold smuggling case. The main opposition, CPN UML party, which has called for resignations from Home Minister and the Finance Minister, has been adamant over setting up a high-level judicial investigation committee. However, the ruling coalition has maintained that setting up a probe panel amid the ongoing investigation by the Central Investigation Bureau will derail the progress, the Kathmandu Post reported. The gold in question had arrived from Hong Kong in form of brake shoes and was confiscated by authorities on July 18th. So far, authorities have arrested 16 people in connection with the smuggling. And the death toll due to the deadly dengue outbreak in Bangladesh has surpassed 400 as 18 more deaths were reported on Monday morning. The Directorate General of Health Services said that 2,480 more patients were admitted to the hospitals with viral fever. The rise in dengue cases comes despite the health authorities' speculation that the number of patients will drop to a tolerable limit by late August. There is no vaccine or drug that specifically treats dengue, which is common in South Asia during the June to September monsoon season. It is caused by the Aedes aegypti mosquito, which thrives in stagnant water. Symptoms include high fever, joint pain and vomiting. Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see the same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.